Hey, it's Rob. Got a quick one today. Got a fan that uh, it's one of those turbo fans. I, it, you know, the small ones that are about I don't know, 10 inches across or something like that. And uh, I went to use it yesterday, and the fan blades don't turn. It's just I've had it for quite a while, and I think it's just full of dirt. So I just want to show you a quick way on how I go about cleaning one of these. All right, this is the kind of fan that I'm talking about. Um, this one is, you know, a famous name brand. You get these at the hardware store. I like these because they actually work really well when they're new, but uh, they can get clogged up. And you can see this one's pretty dirty. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is take this out and clean it off with the air compressor and just blow out as much dust as I can. It is still not turning properly, if I can plug this in. I mean, I can hear it humming when I turn it on, but it is not wanting to turn. That usually means that the uh, bearings in here are clogged up. So, what we do now is I guess we do it this way. Take it apart. It's held together by screws. Ooh, and they're quite long screws, I see. Yeah. That's a pretty good length. And I'm going to guess that there's four. Oh, five, six, six of them. All right. Yeah, we'll make sure that they are all the same length. I would imagine that they are. Uh, once in a while, in taking something apart, I'll end up finding that the screws are different lengths, and that can get all sorts of fun if you don't take them off properly. You actually. Huh, okay, there's some different ones in here. I'm gonna have to check this out. So what happens is there are four screws that are the regular Phillips head and there are two that are Torx. And I'm gonna see if I have the right Torx bit in here. I believe. I gotta get more of these kits. These are great. I remember where in the heck I got those. I don't think that. Oh, it's a torque security bit. Okay. Well, that's a little different. Oh, it is a torque security bit. What's going on? So the torque security bit has this little dimple in the middle. There's a post that comes up. And there, uh, Theoretically tamper-proof, but you know now that you can get these kits, they are uh, not entirely tamper-proof. Come on! I think they put these in less as a, a security feature and more as a "we don't want you taking this apart; we just want you to buy a new one." Kind of that planned obsolescence thing. And I am not a firm believer in planned obsolescence. I would much rather try and fix the doggone thing. Uh. Let's try one more down. These are not. There we go. I always have difficulty with Torx bits getting the right size. They always look wrong to me. Like that looks way too small to fit in there. But it turns out, nope, that's just the right size. Alright. 
now we've got that loosened up. Oh, the front comes off. Yay! Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and those are the two uh, security torx bits, or security torx screws. They're all the same length, so I don't have to worry about putting them in incorrectly. Uh, oh yeah, you can see how bound this is. Yeah. All right. So now, what do we want to do? I want to unscrew the motor from the cage. Now if you look in here, I guess, let's see if I can get a light. Now if you look in here, there are two screws like this on each side. This one holds the frame together up here. This one mounts it to the uh, plastic. These are pretty bog standard. These are uh, uh, shaded pole motors and they're, uh, they're really often used for fans. They're pretty cheap. They're brushless. They last a long time if you clean them. So, take those out. And now the motor is here. And I can probably pull that control off. Yeah, you can see how gunked up this is. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm going to pull the control knob off. Get something to pry it with. Plastic guard. Take the whole switch out. Huh. Alright, back in and got it pretty well cleaned up. So you can see kind of how difficult it is to turn right now. Uh, in this case, I'm using TriFlow. There's a couple of different kinds you could use. This is not a particularly critical uh, piece where you have to use a, a particular kind of lubricant. This stuff usually works pretty well. It's difficult to get into. See how this works just by itself. Quite a bit better. Yeah, I think that's good enough. All right, now just put it back together. Thank you.
as you can see, I'm having some uh, difficulty putting this back together because these are not lining up the way that I think they should. It's very odd. Get this screw out. Come on. This is the way it should go on, and these should match up. And there's a notch down here, but I don't see a corresponding index on that rim. So I don't know if that's just a uh, muff in the mold or what. So, Alright, that one. Come on. <laughs> there we go. All right. Those look like they are lining up properly now. So let's try this again. <sighs> I'm going to start with these, but I'm not going to put in these Torx screws again. I don't think it needs them, and they're a pain in the butt if I ever want to take this apart again and clean and lube it. Okay, that feels like it bit in properly. Oh yeah, this is going together right. Okay, that's better. Now it's not coming off. Fixed.